Off we go. I'm dreadfully sorry, but the Queen's just too busy to see any old merchants right now. But yeah, this is urgent. We have vital information regarding the coins. You and how many others? Darius, this isn't working. Let's just go. Wow, that's a lovely dress you've got on. Where did you get it? I don't mean to pry, it's just that, well, for us larger ladies, it can be difficult to find a place that stocks the larger sizes. Actually, I didn't buy it in a store. I kind of transformed into it. Uh, transformed, that means you do know about the coins. They touch me too. Go right on in, see the queen. Oh, that was easy. So, here we go. Ah, oh, there she is. Queen Nakta. Okay, who are you lot pretending to be? Merchants of some sort. Ah, she's onto us straight away. I'm begging your pardon, your highness. Pretending to be. Feel free to drop your futile little attempt at a farce. One of you, the parrot, has given the game away. There's a wanted poster for you and your friends, and there's nothing I love better than hanging pirates in the town square. Uh, okay, what would you say if we told you we'd come here to turn him in? Wait, what? Morgana must have talked you into this, didn't she? We're not turning anyone in. Our crew is like our family. My queen, we may be pirates, but you have to hear us out. I have to. May I remind you, my dear, that you're speaking with the queen. If you want to continue to breathe air on this earth, you'll do exactly what I tell you. Okay, so what do you need? You will help me use the coins to protect my throne. How precisely does one use to shape what you were coins? Oh, uh, we don't know. Well, uh... Shape what you were, you said. Rocky used them all the time. He did? Is it that easy? You kidding? Totally easy. Almost too easy. You know what I mean? No, hence the need for this pedantic conversation. Uh, you what now? Uh, how, how does shape what you were work? Well, you see, shape what you were. That's fairly obvious. I mean, can it work on somebody else? Can you reshape the past of another? Oh yeah, totally. Need I remind you that I'm looking for the details here? What is the experience like? Is this guy bullshitting or is he actually telling the truth? Well, uh... Ever hear someone drone on and on and on about some stupid story you couldn't care less about? It's kind of like that, but up close and personal. It's like talking to a boring person. It's like you get to walk through their memories, live out their lives, you know? But you shape and change whatever you want. They might say, oh no, that's not how it happened. I love my favourite grandpa. I never tried to steal from him. That's their voice in your head. Well, I guess to them. You're in their head. Anyways, you make them steal your grandpa's purse and... Their grandpa stopped loving them, and so when they grew up, they never told you that boring story about their favourite grandpa, so you never thought to use to shape what you were on them, so it never happened. This doesn't make any sense. Which means that it did. Now I'm getting a headache. So am I. How could this possibly be the process you described not a moment ago as easy? Well, Rocky made it look easy. He got a lot of practice in. He did now. Yeah, I mean... How do you think he found such an amazing crew of pirates? We all got kicked out of our homes for stealing from our grandpas, that's why. I failed to see the connection, but no matter. Does activating the coins require any verbal instructions? No, but if you want to use shape what you were, you got to have red crystals. Okay, this is the first time I'm hearing about those. Same. Are you too serious? I've never used shape what you are, but even I know about the red crystals. Okay, so what do they do? What don't they do? Why, well, they're just about the most important thing about shape what you were. You see, they stop you from getting stuck in the past. If you don't have a magic crystal to go home, you'll be stuck living out somebody else's boring stories over and over again. Okay, that's dreadful. Has this ever actually happened to anyone? Uh, yeah, sad story there. I have this crewmate. Well, I had this crewmate. Deus, can I go shopping for some new shoes? Morgana's bored. Of course, my dear, your highness. I'm sure we've taken more than enough of your valuable time. You lot, be sure to stay in town. I've got to reach out to some of my sources about these red crystals. Whatever you do, do not under any circumstances speak to my sister about any of this. Do you understand? Okay, your highness. Well, who's her sister? So it's a thing we've been told to not do. So obviously, we're probably going to have to do that in a minute. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Oh, back on the ship. 
Okay, looks like we safely cleared the harbour undetected. How did you get those coins, Morgana? It wasn't easy. I tried to sneak in by pretending to be the woman that delivered the dessert cart. Of course, they were a little suspicious because all the desserts had uh, gone missing, but then... Good, Morgana. Brock, you want to tell me what exactly was going on back there. Why didn't you tell us everything you knew about the shape what you were earlier? Everything I knew? You can't be serious, boss. I made all of that up. Come on, Darius. It's not like he was being obvious about it or anything. But why? I was just following orders. I never gave you any orders to lie to the Queen. No, but Morgana did. What? Brock, have you lost your mind? Didn't you say you'd drag things out as long as you could and I'll steal the coins myself while you keep her busy? Things were getting hot, so I just tried to say whatever I thought would stop her from sticking our necks in the noose. That's kind of brilliant. Congratulations, Brock, on a very successful con. Successful? He just ran his mouth while I was the one that did all the work. Uh, oh. Nah, Brock, he, he kind of went straight in. You weren't there, but the Queen really was ready to kill us. She asked us a question we couldn't possibly answer. While you were stealing the coins, Brock's tall tail managed to capture her attention. He's proven himself a loyal and valued member of our crew. Damn straight I have. <laughs> He's only proven how stupid all of you are. Brock, I never got a chance to probably give you a tour of the ship. Let me tell you what we're all about. You see, we're not really pirates. Alright, off they go. They're going to give him the, the grand old tour. Come on, Morgana, give him a break. He followed your orders. He saved our lives. What do you want him to do? Part the sea for us? That man is one of Liko's murderers. I'll never just forgive him. It's kind of true. I seem to forget how much you love Liko. Okay, what's that supposed to mean? Isn't it odd that he's showing more loyalty after he's dead than when he was alive? Meanwhile, Mila, Brock and I have risked all our lives for this crew, and we still don't have your trust. Maybe you just can't let anyone else on this ship be the apple of the captain's eye. How dare you! Oh, she does like Darius. Everyone, tempers are rising. Maybe we should all pause before we say something we might regret. Uh, it's already pretty intense. Both of you, listen here, and you listen good. I know Brock better than any of you, and I promise he's going to stab us all in the back the first chance he gets. And Tam Tam, you two-bit liar. Don't ever second-guess me again if you know what's good for you. Fine, I promise. This is the last time I'll ever bother you. Uh, Mira, could you join me in my quarters for a sec? Alright, Darius wants a chat. This ship is certainly becoming worryingly adversarial, isn't it? Uh, that's one way to look at it, sure. Is there another? Captain, this isn't just a great challenge. It's a great opportunity. What better way to show leadership than by leading so many people who can't get along? What better way is there to prove we're the ones who should change the world? Well, Mila's just sweet as anything, isn't she? Oh my god. Of course, it's not going to be easy, but I know there is goodness inside every person here. I know, given the right amount of time, patience, and love, we'll all want to get along. We'll all want to be a family. Okay, that's a beautiful vision for us. I sincerely hope it's within our grasp. Okay, sure. Yo, yo, Tam Tam. I should have thrown you overboard when we had the chance. Oh, please. If it wasn't for me, you'd never have made it this far in the first place. Say that again and I'll cut you. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Why are the two of you at each other's throats all of a sudden? All of a sudden? Wow. That bloody thief stole my... Oh, calling me a thief now. What are you? A caretaker at an orphanage? What? We're the dread pirates, aren't we? As I was trying to explain to Brock, we're not really pirates, we're, uh, treasure hunters, I know, and I was hunting me some treasure. I don't want to hear excuses, we're not thieves. Just give Morgana back what's hers, and let's put an end to this. Put an end to this? You mean you're just going to let her get away with it? I'll return it to her, right after we return the ship around, and we give the Queen back her coins. Okay, what are you talking about? You keep saying, we aren't thieves. What exactly did we do last night? Tam Tam, we tried our best to get those coins, honestly. So because she had something we wanted and wouldn't give up, we just devised a little scheme and took it from her. We can't steal from each other, or how else can the crew build trust? 
I think that you and I know that this is an especially sensitive time for that. We haven't had any trust in the first place. Morgana, your little princess, told me so herself. She said she suspected I was a thief right from the start. I was right, wasn't I? If I'm going to be treated like a thief, why shouldn't I act like one? Enough. You two have to learn to get along. We all do. We're docking near a rare merchant ship soon. The Queen's belongings contained a bill of sale from this place. I just know it has something to do with the coins, Morgana. I want you to go and take Tam Tam with you. And Tam Tam, while you're there, Morgana is in charge and you're to follow her orders. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Mira, go with them and make sure they don't kill each other. I'll stay behind with Brock. Uh, he might need to hear my explanation about the coins the second time. He's... Yeah, he needs a little bit of extra help with the learning process, I'm sure. Where is this? Hello? Oh, hey there. Welcome one, welcome all, to Sherry and Threon's Love Imperium. Okay, how you doing? We have everything you could want for your most intimidating needs. Your what now? We sell trinkets to help fill the hole in the heart. Okay, how cute. How pointless. We're obviously in the wrong place. Let's go. A little window shopping is just going to kill us, isn't it? It just might if you keep pushing me. She's so grumpy. Maybe she's beyond even our ability to help. Well, even Sherry's turned on her. Okay, I'm sure she's just acting reprehensive because she's shy at heart. Cupid just needs a helping hand sometimes, lady. There's no shame in that. Cupid can mind his own damn business, thank you very much. Oh, being shot in the heart with an arrow. What could be more romantic? Well, it's a legend that has roots in a, a history lesson. Okay, that's it. We're leaving. As in, now. Wait, we came looking for some enchanted coins? Well, of course. The wizard didn't conjugate them for nothing, you know. The wizard? See, Morgana, we're in the right place after all. You sure are. I know love will be in the air soon. Okay, give us the coins. Nobody gets hurt, okay? But we haven't had the chance to give you a talisman or admonish one of our love's questionnaires yet. Okay, we're not on some pleasure cruise. We're the Dread Pirates. We're not going to take anything from a couple of lovesick merchants. Well, they're not just merchants. We're matchmakers, love gurus, romantic, or was it innovators? What could be better than a world in love, right? Sounds dreamy. Wow, Mila's into it. And here I thought being a pirate would be fun. Do you two have an opening? Oh, she wants a job here. Okay. Please say you've got more than one. I'd love nothing more than to leave these two idiots here. Sorry, team of two over here. Well, these guys are proper lovey-dovey. Now, how exactly are you going to use these coins to do whatever it is you're going to do in now? You know, it took us quite a while to contemporize and figure them out. But it turns out there's a clue written on the coins all along. Become what you seek. The coins amplify, among other things, desires. Normally your own. But how is that going to help your love life? Maybe if you're in love with your own refraction. We managed to capture the desires of others into talismans, so you can become the perfect fit for your ideal partner. Combined with our coin, love will be in the air before you know it. So you use the coins to give people, what, an extreme makeover? What a waste. If it makes people feel better about themselves, what's the harm? Well said. You know, I'm getting a thought now. What about that dragon egg? Perfect. I'll go get it from the back. You should come with. I don't want to spend another second away from your beautiful face. These guys, they're like newlyweds or something. And I don't want to extirpate myself from your beautiful well, you know. Okay. Okay, so Darius told us to get the coins. Why are you two wasting time chatting them up? I say we follow in the back and jump them right now. Then let's knock out everybody else that might help us. But in case you haven't noticed Morgana, we don't know everything there is to know about the coins. Is it a crime to finesse a little information about them first? And they're cute in their way, aren't they? No, they are not. Constantly talking about love, like that's the greatest thing on earth. Remind me, what's better again? Respect, trust, duty, to name just three. We're risking our lives looking for these coins, and I'm supposed to worry about love. It's because life's so fragile that every moment is so precious, darling. Okay. Uh, let's go with... 
Mila's a bit of a soft touch at the minute, so I guess we'll go with Tam Tam. I think this couple has just the right idea for these coins. Trying to make the world fall in love. It's nice. Love isn't always delightful and easy, you know. Cersei just wanted to use the coins to destroy people's minds. Trento wanted to make addictive food. Compared to them, these people are saints. So, we've seen worse. That's your case. Sorry about the delay, folks. Not to worry. We've got exactly the talisman to put love in the air. We've just been having a friendly debate over to who to give it to. Okay, we don't want any stupid trinkets. We're not taking anything except the coins. Let's at least hear them out, please, Morgana. I think something's in the way, and that's why we're going to give love a little helping hand. Morgana, we considered an item for you, but after some discussion, Tam Tam, we've both decided that this love talisman would be best placed in your hands. Let's just get the coin and go, Tam Tam. Can't I enjoy my little moment, please? It's just what you need, Tam Tam. Here you go, take it. Okay, she's been given something. What is it? Oh, wow. You... Yeah, sure. What the hell kind of transformation is that? What happened? Oh my... She's completely different. Not even closely <laughs> resembling what she was before. What do you think? You've been reshaped to be lucky in love. Lucky in love? I certainly doubt that, but damn, I certainly feel lonely and empty so often that I'm tempted to get my hopes up. Okay, is that true? Uh, I mean, I thought I thought you were just trying to help people look pretty. Oh, you're very pretty. Maybe according to you, but I'll get a lot less attention from other people, and I really, really like getting attention. You're like eight foot tall. Tam Tam, did you break your sarcasm bone or something? That's another little side effect there. The dragon who donated that egg was brutally honest, always. You're telling me I have to be honest all the time? I never want to be honest with people. Oh wow, I'm already doing it. Morgana, let's just get the coin and go, okay? You can't take that. How else do you expect us to help people without it? Giving people advice? Creating a safe space to talk about their problems? We'll go broke. We might as well go declare bureaucracy right now. Don't mean bankruptcy? I'm not sure. I don't care what you do. We're the dread pirates and we don't take no for an answer. Or we're going to rob them. Is that what we just did? That seems a bit ungrateful after they tried to help us. <laughs> Alright, back on the ship. Uh, how did things... Mm. I'm really upset. I'm very uncomfortable with how I look. And I'm worried about what you think of me. Uh, no need to be sarcastic, Tam Tam. That wasn't sarcasm. I'm really... Uh... I assume a more thorough explanation is forthcoming. Captain, I'd just like to get back to work and put this behind me, if you don't mind. Of course, help Morgana rig the sails. I'm having a little trouble here, um, Morgana. Hey, I'm having as hard a time as you are. At least you're taller. It's weird, all of these transformations, everyone just got huge. Is there like a transformation where someone gets skinnier? It's, <laughs> it's not happened yet. Oh well, I hope that's not Tam Tam. So, Mira... Are you going to be the one to tell me the full story of why this happened? N why isn't important? Yes, I'll fill you in. Uh, yeah, fuck you. None of your biz. <laughs> what difference does it make how it happened? All we can do is move on and try to help each other get along better. That's certainly true. I hadn't thought about it like that. Thanks, Mila. We don't have any immediate leads on the coin, which is concerning to me. Why would that be concerning? It wouldn't be under any ordinary circumstances, but given the tension that's been building between certain members of the crew, well, I just hope that we reach our destination before we go stir-crazy and someone gets hurt. I'll do what I can, Captain. There's only like five people on this massive ship. I'm sure you can find your own private space. 